I'm a true London. I'm with Alan Whitford, founder of RC Euro and Abtech Consulting. Um, Alan ran a session this morning entitled End to End Employer Branding. Um, Alan, could you enlighten us as to what that is? Sure, Martin, and thanks for having me. Uh, what I wanted to address is that employment branding over the last two or three years has primarily been looked at almost employment marketing. How do we attract the candidate? What's the proposition we give to them? And, oh, we're a jolly great company to work for. But typically what happens is that branding experience stops at the door. The candidate arrives and no one knows who they are. They, there's no onboarding transition. There's nothing about the existing employees. So what we've looked at is the end-to-end -end process is firstly identify what are the uh, true values of your business, both as a uh, customer-facing business as well as an employment-facing employment business. Engage those values into the candidate attraction process. Mm -hmm follow through with them onto the onboarding, into the learning and development, and into the internal career pathing and talent progression in the business. So an employment brand is really extending your business brand to the entire engagement philosophy, you will, about potential employees and existing employees. Okay, so that sounds hideously complex for a business because that crosses over many um, disciplines and teams. How does that, how do you make that work? You're right, it is incredibly complex and we were very fortunate over the last year to be doing this with the rank group and we had multidisciplinary teams over 12 different streams that we were working through to make this happen. So we had people working on diversity and inclusivity, people working in the onboarding, people working on internal career pathing. I ran streams on the social media impact piece, on the uh, career website piece, on the back end ATS piece. And we had a wide range of streams, but people also had to engage from within the business. So we had line managers, business managers, people from the PR department, not just people from within HR as part of the multidisciplinary team. And it required a huge investment, not, yes it was money, but it also was about effort, um, commitment and cost. And it was right through to being signed off by the CEO as a way of transforming the business, not just transforming HR or recruitment. So it is a quite complex process, uh, but one that I believe that at the end of the day means it will actually return its value many times over because now there is a joined up thinking um, before we hire people through to them being on board as, as uh, employees and how they deal with our customers with the same philosophies and even when they leave the business as many people do in the gaming industry they leave go somewhere else for a short term and then come back and let's bring them back into the business because they already have the sort of style the skills and the mm -hmm. cultural impact that we want them to have. Alan Whitford thanks very much.